Hey guys, Movie Fan 256 here, and uh, you guys like the new look? This is uh, what the look's gonna be for pretty much every Arrow actor show. Um, yeah, it's just a cheap little costume that I kind of. Anyway, uh, welcome to the Arrow After Show, and uh, we're talking about season three, episode four, and there is a lot to talk about in this episode. If you guys never seen my after shows before, I run down the positives and the negatives about the episode, in my opinion. I kind of give my overall impressions on the episode and what I'm kind of hoping for, like, next week's episode. Um, so let's just jump right into it, like, because like I said, there is a lot to talk about. Arrow, Season 3, Episode 4, The Positives. Um, basically, I'm going to give you a, a description of the episode. Basically, Nessa comes back to Starling City. She finds out Sarah's dead and uh, Malcolm Merlin's still alive. And... They basically try to track down Malcolm Merlin because she believes that Malcolm Merlin is the one who killed Sarah. And uh, that's basically the overall plot of the episode. Oliver's trying to stop him too, but he doesn't want to kill him because he made that whole uh, vow to himself that he wasn't going to kill anymore. And of course, Nessa wants to kill him. So there's tension. And uh, so yeah, let's just jump right into it, the positives. The tension between Nessa and Laurel. For most of the episode, they have this tension going on of, uh, you know, them two just kind of... They want the same thing, but they... At first, you know, Nessa's... I, I don't really know how to describe it, but there is tension between the two at, them, uh, at first. And then they kind of uh, um, get on the same page eventually in the episode. And I did like the tension between Nessa and Laurel. Uh, Nessa telling Oliver about Malcolm, just the fact that Nessa was the one to tell Oliver and not Thea, for some reason, uh, because, you know, that whole thing last episode about Ol how Oliver told uh, Thea, look, no more secrets, no more lies, I'm going to tell you everything. And he never did tell her that he was the hood, or the arrow, as he's called now. Um... He didn't tell her that yet, so I was hoping that Thea would eventually come out and say, yeah, Malcolm Merlin's alive, and I was with him the whole time. Um, but no, it's actually Nessa that tells Oliver about about Merlin. Because if you guys don't know, I just call him by Merlin. I don't call him Malcolm. I think Merlin sounds so much cooler. But, uh, yeah. Um, Nessa versus Merlin. Now, there's a quick little fight between Nessa and Merlin Towards the beginning of the episode, they track him down, and, uh, you know, Nessa fights with Merlin for a second, and then Oliver comes in and actually sees it with his own eyes, that Merlin's standing right there before him, alive. And, uh, I, I loved Oliver's reaction. Uh, Stephen Amell just killed it. He nailed that performance. Um, Thea getting the nightclub back. Um, I, you know what? I almost forgot that she was the one running the nightclub for a while because they've gone in a way different direction with Thea that I almost completely forgot that she ran the nightclub for a while. Um, but the fact that she's talking about getting the nightclub back, um, I thought that was cool. I'm like, oh yeah. So, um, Diggle reminding Oliver about his vow. Now, I haven't really talked about Diggle too much this season yet. Um, because we're only four episodes in, Diggle hasn't had a lot to do. I mean, let's be honest. I love the character of Diggle as much as the next guy. Diggle is one of my all-time favorite characters on the show. Uh, but he hasn't really had that much to do yet. But when he's telling Oliver, look, you made a vow, um, to not kill anymore. So, when you find Merlin, don't kill him. As much as you're gonna want to, don't kill him. And uh, I always thought that was cool because Oliver needs that. He needs someone who keeps reminding him about the vow that he took. Because sometimes in the heat of the moment, he might forget. And so it's good to have a character like that. i got to fix my hood. All right. That's a little bit better. All right. That, 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 that should be good. Um, so, yeah. Nessa taking Thea. Um, Nessa taking Thea, as soon as that happened, I'm like, oh, shit. Shit's about to go down. Um, so, yeah. Just wait until Oliver fucking finds out about this. And just wait until Merlin finds out about this. And sure enough, 
that happens, and we actually get to see a three-way fight between Nessa versus Oliver versus Merlin. Holy shit. This, okay. The Flash might have the best special effects on television, but Arrow by far has the best stunts. So highly, highly give props to the stunt team. Uh, so, yeah, that fight was just badass. I loved every single minute of that. Um, the Hong Kong flashbacks I actually liked in this episode. Um, cause, like I said, when, I first, when we first started getting the Hong Kong flashbacks, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this just yet. I'm sure it's going to go somewhere really, really cool. And uh, this week proved that, yeah, it, it, it's going to take us to something really 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 cool and I actually enjoyed the Hong Kong flashbacks this week especially the ending the ending of uh, the Hong Kong flashbacks for this episode holy shit I'm ready for more I'm ready I never thought I'd say this but I'm ready for more Hong Kong flashbacks um and finally the very very ending of the episode when Nessa goes back to the League of Assassins um and she's talking to someone and you know just by the way she's talking, you know it's Ra's al Ghul. And to actually see him, I didn't think we were actually going to see him this early. I knew we were getting him in this season. I knew that he was going to show his face at some point this season. I didn't expect it to be this soon. So that was awesome. Because um, initially I thought, okay, she's just going to go on. She's going to talk to Ra's al Ghul. We're going to be able to hear him, but they're not going to show his face. And, but no, they, they, they did, and they showed his face, and holy shit, wow, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, the negatives, only really have two negatives. Um, the villain in this episode was obviously Malcolm Merlin, and he's not a negative, I just, uh, I wanted to mention the villain of who, because, you know, they always have villains in every episode. Merlin was technically the villain in this episode, and, Merlin is one of my all-time favorite characters on the show. So I know I said that about Diggle and Felicity and Lance and, you know, but yeah. Merlin, definitely up there, for sure. Um, the negatives. <coughs> Laurel, still not telling Lance. He's, she still hasn't told him that Sarah's dead. And he even calls Sarah, Sarah's phone. And it goes to her voicemail, and he leaves a very nice message. It left, kind of made me tear up. Okay, it did make me tear up. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, and then Laurel comes in, and I'm like, this is the time to tell him. It's, it feels like every week there is a perfect time for Laurel to tell Lance the truth about Sarah. And yet she doesn't. She died two episodes ago now. Um, yeah. He's got to find out real soon. I don't like that she's not telling him. He deserves to know. Um, so I'm sure there's a good reason why she hasn't told him yet. And I'm sure that reason is going to be something cool. I, 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 at least I would hope so. Because look, look at what the writers have done so far. So there's always a reason for everything on Arrow. But I wonder how long they're going to drag that out. I hope it doesn't get dragged out too long. And every week I'm just hoping... Okay, this is the episode where Lance finds out. I want to see his reaction. Paul Blackthorne is an amazing actor. And Lance, you'll hear me say this again, one of my all-time favorite characters on the show. Okay, if I had to put my top five favorite characters, it would probably be Lance, number one. Number two, Merlin. Number three, Diggle. Number four, Oliver. And number five, I'm, I'm going to go Sarah. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's my top five of Arrow characters. Um, so yeah, I wonder how long they're, they're going to drag that out. Um, another thing, this is a stupid really thing. It's, it's not that big of a deal. But Laurel's face healed pretty quickly. If you guys remember in the last episode, she got the shit beat out of her. And her face was fucked up. It's only been a week later. I'm pretty sure your face isn't going to look like that a week later. Um, even if you did have some kind of like surgery, which she might have because she still has some scars, but her face healed pretty damn quickly, I, I thought. Um, and 
Laurel F Fight Club again, as I call it. Uh, I don't like that that's how Laurel's training. And there's a scene where Nessa comes in and sees Laurel fighting there. And they kind of have, like, this conversation. And uh, she's, like, giving her advice. And I'm like, why don't you just take her back to the League of Assassins and train her? You did it with Sarah. You can do it with another Lance. Um, I would be fine if they did that. I would be fine with Laurel becoming the Black Canary if she trained with the League of Assassins. If she trains in some fight club and then just becomes the Black Canary, she might be a badass as Black Canary, but I, I don't like how they're going about her training. Um, so I'm hoping at some point, when that, because we know Ness is going to come back soon, and uh, so I'm hoping that maybe Laurel will decide to go with Nessa to train with the League of Assassins. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Um, so yeah, guys, that is my thoughts on uh, this week's uh, Arrow episode. What did you guys think of the episode? What, uh, what had the most effect on you in this episode? Was it the uh, when Lance was calling Sarah's voicemail? Was it when Ra's al Ghul showed up on screen? Was it the badass fight between uh, Nessa, Oliver, and Merlin all at the same time? Let me know what was your favorite moment in the entire episode because there are so many fantastic moments. And uh, so, yeah, guys, that's all I can say for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. And you have failed this city.